Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where I was just taking a bit of a look at the broader world outside of our little area, and it would appear that West Francia, they're a bit of a big boy. That's uh, definitely a little bit spooky over here. Luckily, they have a few things to worry about, including the Umayyad over here, Salimid over here. Italy has formed, but it's not very powerful. Bavaria, Hungary, those are both interesting options for us to try to ally right now. But we want to be fighting Estonia currently, and any other pushing that our vassals happen to do is fine. They can take that opportunity whenever they want, as long as they're aware that we'll probably at some point... Take it away from them. Do we have any additional champions that we can get? No, we don't. And that's slightly awkward. We're going to take forward, though. Let's see. We've got our pikemen up to size 3. So that's fine. We want to get these maxed out ASAP. That's for sure. Getting our men-at-arms maxed out will be a big, big deal. There's a faction created against us. That's okay. For right now, we're just going to be chilling and building. Let's see, we're already constructing here. We already have this maxed out. Fantastic. So we're mostly going to be chilling, although we're considering a war against Estonia, particularly if something happens to their alliance with Finland. Their current ruler is 53. I think we bide our time. And we just wait until that, that ruler dies. And then we go after Estonia when they have no allies. For now, I would very much like to be putting our money into our realm. And we're building longhouses here. There's a year left. We'll have plenty of money to build probably war camps next. That will give us another knight that we can't get. That'll be nice. Although we should maybe consider, at this point, inviting champions. It's 150 prestige. Spiteful Axe. Okay, so we're still upset at Chief Dagas. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I feel like nothing here really matters. This is all kind of pointless. She would react to our snub. Um... This is an intrigue challenge. What is her intrigue skill? Her intrigue skill is 14. That's a bit spooky. To be sure. I think we'll write a quote unquote witty poem. What could possibly go wrong? The poem was rejected. No immediate effects. Okay. Well, that's exciting. And hopefully some of our champions will show up soon enough. That'd be nice. Because we need nine champions. Hello, we're recruiting you. Now we need eight champions. Fantastic. Okay. We definitely need some champions, but we also need that prestige to be going into our men-at-arms regiments. Now, it is starting to get pretty expensive to maintain this. Our unraised maintenance is 0 0.4 per month for these. We're probably going to want to chill on this for right now. Our prestige is not amazingly great. And we'll attend our nephew's feast. We like him pretty well. Wonderful. We're looking forward to it. Can we hold our own feast? Dismantle the papacy. No, we, uh, we aren't going to be doing that anytime soon. <laughs> okay, so we could... Gain the trait Drunkard, 10% chance, but we would lose 10 st or 12 stress, which would be a pretty big deal, actually. Or, our nephew loses 10 opinion of us and we lose 42 stress, over half of our current stress level. I think that's worth a 10%, or 10%, a 10 relations hit, considering he's already at plus 82. Wonderful. Our stress is doing much better. How's Estonia doing? They're still allied to Finland. Fair enough. What a good evening. We are apparently forming a friendship with our niece. Okay. It's probably a good thing to have. 
We are missing a counselor currently, and we have a powerful vassal here who's... They're skill 9. I mean, we do have a skill 15 powerful vassal who is currently our steward. He's a skill 22 steward. I think we'll keep him there, and we will assign this chiefess to be the to be on the council. She's our friend anyway. Everybody actually rather likes us on our council anyway. Oh, our counselor died. <laughs> so now we need... Oh, that was our steward. Okay. So now we need a new steward. And the option is Dagas, and she's skill 3. You can stay off the council, Dagas. We're going to give it to our buddy over here, who has skill 17. Wonderful. And now we're heading home. We lose 24 stress. So we're actually going to be at almost zero stress from that. That was really nice. And we don't have a marshal because our marshal died. Okay. In this situation, I think... That we actually give it to Dagus. Much as I hate that. She's super upset at us, and that will never not be the case. She's salty because we revoked her title, but she's also our rival. Leash holds Dijer Duchy. Yeah, fair enough. She is upset. She is very, very upset indeed. So we're currently gaining 2.6 prestige per month, and that is definitely on the low side for what we are looking to do here right now. Oh, hello, a champion. Yes, we will recruit you. 32 gold, that is acceptable. Wonderful. We're now up to 8 of 16, because one of our, one of our champions died. That's uh, pretty great. By that, I mean not that great. This is going to gain us plus 0.2 prestige per month, which is, you know, a nice bump. But we definitely need to chill on expanding our men-at-arms until such a time as our prestige income is doing a little bit better. So these longhouses will be done in two months, and it will cost 200 prestige to start construction on our war camps. So we definitely are going to need to hold off on that until we get our prestige, unless... When can we host a feast? Two years. Hmm. We could commission an epic and pay gold for it. We're making a fair amount of gold right now, but I would kind of prefer... How much would this cost? I mean, 50 gold for 150? We'll do it. A family epic. What I need is a classical tale of the grandeur of my family. A song about the origins of the Wilkes dynasty and how we are destined for greatness. I only need someone who knows how to tell a story. Oh, we've got Grassus, the accomplished storyteller. High chance of an exceptional epic. It'll cost us an additional 100 gold. We'll have, us, we'll have our best bards, an unpredictable chance of an exceptional epic, 50 gold. A low chance with a lowly launderer, and we would lose 2 gold. Or we could just gain 75 prestige and not do it. Does that put this on cooldown? Surely it does. We're going to try. If it doesn't put this on cooldown, that would be remarkably strange. So we gain 75 prestige. Yes. We cannot commission another epic for 10 years. Fair enough. I'm okay with this. I mean, 50 gold for 75 prestige isn't the best trade. But at the same time, I'm not too concerned. There we go. Because I'm slightly concerned about our current prestige income. Of course, once we switch over to feudal, that will become much less of a big deal. 
So we're just going to... Uh, we're first in line to inherit the king, the High Chiefdom of Samagishia. Well, that's a little awkward. Okay. We can designate a guardian for our son here, and we definitely should. I think... Gurkis, indeed. Wonderful. We could lose 12 stress. We are at 17. Okay. We'll let them quarrel in peace. Wonderful. And with that, we may want to begin raiding. What are we at right now? 7408. Our max levies are pretty high. We can get a new diplomacy perk, and that's Dignitas. Diplomacy per level of fame plus one. Okay, we'll take that. And then this would give us the trait August. Which, what exactly would that end up doing? Diplomacy? Ooh, plus one prestige per month. That's pretty spicy. Okay. We'll definitely work towards that. We are currently 44. So, we won't be there forever, but that's okay. How much more prestige are we going to need over here? We're going to need another 500 total prestige to put into this chiefdom. That's okay. How's our fascination going? We are currently at... 19 years away. Okay. Oh, hello! People have switched over to Prussian culture. That's great. Um, realistically, I think we're going to stay on collect taxes for right now. Who's this? Ah. This is the King of Estonia. Hmm, we could gain 150 prestige just for free. Hmm, we would... We're having an opportunity to make friends with this king. He holds territory that is de jure ours, though. Which means we kind of don't necessarily want to be friends with him, and we're just pretty much waiting for Finland to break their alliance there. I think we're just going to frame the king's letter in our hall and take the 150 prestige and call it a day on that one. Wonderful. So all of our county holdings over here are going reasonably well in terms of our upgrades. Quite happy to see that. We did get Gavelkind found. We are 412, 425, 421 years on these, respectively. Banis, we're actually only 39 years away. Onager, 421, and Quilted Armor, 426. Okay. So we're being exposed to an innovation for Banis here, so that's why that's going to be discovered shortly. Sounds good. So both of these will be done relatively soon. And of course, our next life, we are going to be focused on reforming our faith. But I do kind of want to go raiding a bit. I mean, we have a good monthly income, though, is the thing. The prestige income is what I'm a little concerned about. Yeah, that's fine. He can do that. Oh, we do need a guardian for our daughter. Let's see here. Insightful thinker. Legendary blade master, huh? You know what? Let's have her be educated by our wife. What could go wrong? And we're not going to convert culture or convert faith. Or use a hook. Wonderful. We're still missing some champions, but we'll go ahead and recruit this guy. Brings us up to 10 out of 16. Excellent. So our number of knights is coming up, but I do want to actually raise our military as raiders. And we're just going to go do a little bit of raiding to boost our income and prestige. So we're going to head over... Oh, hello. That looks spicy. Looks like some pretty decent loot over here. And so we are going to grab it. There's some nice loot down over here in Greater Poland as well. Wonderful. What is going on over here? What is this? 
Dagus is fighting... Who are these, peasants? Oh, there's a rebellion going on there. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm less fine with the fact that Dagus is winning it, but, you know, whatever. She's a top-level liege, it's expected. Did we finish our loot over here? I believe we did. Yes, indeed. Okay, we're gonna head down over this way and start hitting up Greater Poland. Who are they currently in a war? No, they aren't. That's okay. Not too concerned. How much loot do we have? 15. Sounds good. We're probably going to return back when we have somewhere around 100. I mean, we're super close to our territory right here. That's not a useful place to raid. A lot of this has been recently raided. This one hasn't. We will take casualties going there, but that's fine. Delicate affairs. Chieftain Upa has been a real help in the last few days, aiding me in my efforts to strengthen the realm's ties with our neighbors. He's just offered himself again to help me gain High Chieftain Mako's trust. It's so hard to find someone one can truly rely on these days. He would become our friend. He's a vassal in the High Kingdom of Kazaria. Or we would have a... 46% chance of gaining 100 Diplomacy Lifestyle Experience, or we could lose 42 stress. We're basically done with our stress. I think we're going to roll the dice on this. We don't care if he loses opinion of us. Hey, we got 100 Diplomacy Lifestyle Experience. Fantastic. That is the benefit of rolling the dice. Especially when you don't care if you lose. So we've got about 31 gold here right now. That's fine. We're going to raid this. Ooh, there's some nice loot down over this way. Let's go grab it. Down in Bohemia. Wonderful. Are any of our vassals pressing claims? I don't believe so. That's a peasant uprising. And it's not really our problem. Realistically. That's only seven gold, but we'll grab it anyway. Hmm. The ruler of the high chief, or rather the ruler of Greater Poland was just taken cap captive. That is a little spicy for them. It's actually a really, really bad thing for Greater Poland. So this is going to bring us pretty close to 100 gold. all raided already. That's 87. Oh, Chief Dagus just died. Not one day too soon either. We're now at zero stress. Fantastic. We're going to head down over here, and this is going to be the last place we're going to raid. We're going to head home after this. Get ourselves that sweet, sweet 100 gold. I've gotten an idea in my attempts to align High Chief Dis that <laughs> to my interests. Perhaps I could argue that it is in the interest of all Slovanskins to support me, rather than any other Vitalist ruler. Maybe. 65% chance that we gain 75 prestige. 35% chance that we fail, in which case we lose 75 prestige, but that's okay. Hey, we got it. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to head home as soon as we are done with this raid. Something along the lines of that. Exactly 100 gold. Let's go home. So we can ransom this person for 10 gold, and so we shall. Wonderful. We also have an empty council position, our marshal. This guy is terrible at the job. Absolutely awful. He doesn't really like us very much. So we're going to give it to this guy instead. Because he would actually be good at the job. Fantastic. We have a few champions, yes, this is true. I don't think we can get any more, though, right now. No, we really, really can't. Can't even invite any more for a while. 
So that's fine. We'll just return home with our raiders and call it good. Hmm. I mean, she likes us a fair amount, so I think we accept this invitation. So it better be worth our time, though. Okay, our raiders have returned. All over my new shirt, huh? How rude. Um, either way, we're going to spend prestige here. Gain 85 stress or 10 stress. We would spend 150 prestige. And he would lose 10 opinion of us. Otherwise, he could... So you would only ever want to choose this. Oh, wait. He spends 150 prestige. Right. We're going to spend the prestige here because I don't want the stress. And also because I'm not too concerned. We just got 100 prestige and 100 gold from raiding. So we will send our army home. Wonderful. And we'll be reinforcing for a little bit. So a lot of that prestige is going to go into that. But they reinforce pretty quickly. The, this is just a courtier? Hmm. Why don't we talk more about you instead? Would you like to be a champion? I happen to have a knight position open. Well, technically I have six open. <laughs> well, farewell, my vassal. Okay. Low county control in Warmia? What's that looking like? 40. Um, it's going up. I think that's fine. Realistically. Those sparring grounds are going to be done soon enough. Someone just showed up. Was that a... I think that was a female, so we can't make her a champion, sadly. That makes me very sad, in fact. Okay, so we've got a decent chunk of prestige right now. The question is, how fast is this regenerating? Reasonably, is the answer. Our levies are not regenerating super fast, but our men-at-arms absolutely are. They're almost fully regened at this point. That's costing us 3.1 prestige per month. Yeah, that's really not too bad. If we were to increase this, we'll increase by 0.4 and 0.1. Okay. Our son Bajoris just came of age. He is an intricate web weaver. Um... Okay, not exactly what I was going for, but... That'll have to do. We do need to find him a spouse. She is quick. But, uh, are there any claims listed on here? I don't think so. Let's see. I'm looking for someone, ideally, who is actually currently a ruler. That'd be ideal. But I doubt that's going to really be much of a thing. This is an interesting option since she's quick. That trait is congenital after all. She's also zealous. With pretty decent learning. I think we'll go for it. Let's see, who is this guy? Oh, okay. Way up over here. So, not very relevant, but kind of on the other side of Finland, so that's something. Sounds good. Our county control in Warmia is, of course, coming up. We still have another three years on our war camps, so. Three years. We're making three prestige per month right now, and that's fine. But we would be lose we're losing prestige with our men at arms raised, and I'm a little concerned about that. So we definitely want to consider continuing to work on our uh, locations over there, as well as becoming August. That would be absolutely amazing. For now, though, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This was a bit of a chill episode, but holy greater Poland broke up, Batman. Okay, we will deal with that 
in the next episode. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.